Hello everyone and welcome to this week's video tutorial. I was very busy last week and I uh, am sorry, apologetic for not having uh, uploaded a video last week. Uh, today I've decided to do something new. Uh, one of my favorite authors in Xiangqi is uh, Master Huang Shaolo and he is well known for his many uh, very nice written books which remain one of the standards of Xiangqi uh, <coughs> in the recent decades. Now, uh, I've selected a few games from one of his books whereby he commented on a series of uh, games of similar openings and without further ado, uh, we shall go to the... I've selected a few for today and we will see how much time I have and see how many games I can comment on, I can translate, sorry. Now, this game was played in 2006 uh, Red was Grandmaster Hong Zhi, Black was Master Jiang Feng San. It was the 2006 A League, uh, and the game has been uploaded or will be uploaded soon onto YouTube. Okay, to begin with, uh, Grandmaster Hong Zhi started with the central cannon, and Jiang Feng San, Master Jiang Feng San, decided to counter with the same direction cannons. Uh, Grandmaster Hong Zhi chose the foul chariot and Black chose the Rank Chariot and Grandmaster Hong Tzu decided to play H8 plus 7 for, to develop both horses as proper horses and Black continued with Ana in Coastal 4 okay. and since Black did not push the pawn Red decided to play P7 plus 1 now at this point in time, uh, Red chose the double-headed snake pawns and as both of the black horses were uh, had trouble developing, Black tried to <coughs> traverse his cannon to develop his chariot. Red continued with, continue with Ana and he goes to 8 and Red, <coughs> after play after Red had played uh, A9 equals to 8, he was prepared to play C8 plus 4 if Black played A1 equals to 2. So this would have this would have formed a blockade. Now Black did not want to did not want that to happen, and that, that was why he advanced his chariot across the river to try to attack the horse. And at this point in time, uh, Black would not be, uh, sorry, Red would not be able to play e7 plus 9 so that he could protect his horse. As if he were to do so, he would have wasted a move. So, how did Grandmaster Hong Zhi continue? He continued with h3 plus 4. And when Black chose to play a4 equals to 3 as planned, Grandmaster Hong Zhi chose to trade horses. And after certain consideration, Master Jiang Feng San decided to trade horses. And at this point, Black chose to capture the edge pawn. It was quite an aggressive counter. Uh, and it would allow Black to play A1 plus 2 to attack the red horse. However, uh, his left horse would now not to now not be protected if, if if the cannon were here the house it will still offer some protection for the black horse so this will be one of his major uh, weaknesses on the board at this point in time and Grandmaster Hong Tzu pounced on the chance to attack so how did he continue with C8 plus 7 threatening to capture the threatening to capture the advisor and black counter continued to counter aggressively c5 plus 4 to capture the central pawn defended with a4 plus 5 and this was a continuation of uh, black's attempt to attack now uh, red had to make this move or it will be a check which red must use his uh, chariot to capture the black cannon and <coughs> It will be a loss of material for red. So, 
black continued with uh, by capturing the elephant uh, it will look that it will look like um, black had uh, the slight advantage at this point but it was not so it was at this point that red targeted the black horse with r2 plus 7 so at this point in time things were getting very exciting on the board and this was the key move in this situation for red okay so uh, Arthur plus 7 was the key move for red in this situation and it was the key for his eventual victory so at this point in time uh, Arthur plus 7 would be a dilemma for the dilemma who plays black in the dilemma so what would have in the match black played h7 minus 5 to try to help uh, defend but could black have played r1 r plus uh, r1 equals to 2 in this situation if he were to traverse his uh, the chariot in front uh, to try to sac use it as a sacrifice uh, hoping that if red captured the black chariot black could checkmate with r3 r3 plus 3 uh, would this work? Uh, black would simply play as it equals to seven, and the black cannon would traverse to the would capture the other edge point, trying to attack the other side. Because once it delivered a check, uh, if the elephant moved away, the cannon would be caught. However, red could simply go ahead with, with R two equals to three to capture the black horse. And if the check were delivered, and even if the central cannon were captured, Red could play aggressively with this move. Now, if Black tried to continue with, with the discovered check, uh, Black would not capture the cannon and move his king to safety instead. And also, this will allow Black uh, Red to continue to attack. So. If black protected the cannon, red could continue to attack with uh, R3 equals to 4 to attempt to capture the advisor. Now this will be a checkmate because after capturing the advisor, the king cannot move to the centroid. So the only way that black could defend would be A6 equals to four, uh, A6 plus 5. And at this point in time, red will make a very nice move with R7 equals to 6, threatening to capture to sacrifice his chariot to capture the other advisor whereby it will be an angler horse checkmate so black would be in deep trouble and no matter what black did it would still be a checkmate hence that is why it would not be a good idea for black to play r1 equals to 2 instead in the in the actual match h7 minus 5 was played and after making this move, Red made another very nice and powerful uh, aggressive move with R equals to 6 to capture the advisor. Now this would threaten the <coughs> this would threaten to capture the black chariot. And if the king were to capture the cannon, for example in this manner, uh, sorry, if the, the king cannot capture the cannon because it would be protected. So if Black <coughs> chose to capture the horse, it will be a check and both the chariots will be lost. So this was what Grandmaster Hong Zhi played in the match. And Black was, was only left with the solution of R1 plus 2. And at this point, Black made another nice move with uh, C6 minus 1 to block the Black horse and still allow his <coughs> and still allow his attack to continue. Now at this point in time, Black chose to play R1 equals to 4, but uh, it was still a little bit too late. Uh, would R1 equals to 2 be possible at this point in time, as shown in the previous variation? Again, Black would defend in this manner. Okay. Uh, Red will still move his king to safety and be prepared to play R2 equals to 4. Check, capture, 
I didn't uh, attack the advisor. If Black were to move the advisor, uh, the horse to safety, uh, Red would play R7 equals to 3 to discourage the Black um, chariot from moving away. So Black would still be in a big dilemma, and the horse would be the horse cannot move or black would capture the advisor for the checkmate and if black moved the advisor he would lose his horse and still be threatened uh, to lose his, his elephant and advisor because of the red king over here so again r1 equals to 2 would not be a viable option back to the match and at this point in time Red decided to sacrifice his cannon with K5 equals to 4. This would threaten to capture the black chariot and also allow Red to play R2 equals to 4. And at this time in time, before playing R2 equals to 4, Black, black made another brilliant move with by sacrificing, uh, offering his chariot as a sacrifice with R8 plus 3. Now if Black moved his uh, cannon, what would happen if Black captured the chariot? Again, checkmate. So this is why the Black cannon cannot capture the chariot. So in, in the in the match, Black was forced to play R4 plus 5. So at this point in time, Black decided finally to play um, R2 to R2 minus 4. Black tried to capture the uh, Black. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Uh, in the match, Black played um, H5 plus 7, or it would be a, it would have been a checkmate. Uh, trying to block with, uh, trying to block the attack with um, c5 because the six would not be possible. As black as red will still be able to deliver a checkmate with the following moves. Check. 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 And uh, it once the chariot is placed here, black would not threaten to checkmate with um, with R seven plus six and also go for the crowning checkmate. So checkmate. So C five equals to six will not be viable. And as I, as I wanted to show earlier. Uh, if black captured the red horse, it will be a check, and black would have to retreat his chariot to defend. If he play, if he advanced his king, it would be a checkmate immediately. So if black played this, a check, and it will be <coughs> black will con would continue will go on to win very easily with r equals seven to capture the elephant. So H5 plus 3 will not be viable either. So, and at this point in time, uh, Grandmaster Hongzhi continue with R8 plus 5. Uh, this move, this was a very aggressive move as it would threaten, as Red was prepared to play R8 goes to 3 on the next move to capture the, uh, to capture the advisor by force. The advisor cannot move, or R8 goes to 5 will simply capture it. Uh, sorry, the advisor if it moved, black would simply capture the black horse and go for the checkmate immediately. Okay, so the moves in, in Master Hong Shaolong's book ended here. And a short recap. Okay, same, direc same direction cannons, foul chariot versus rank chariot. And Red chose to play p3 plus 1, which is quite a fashionable opening. And black countered by developing both horses as proper horses. And Red chose the double snake, <coughs> double headed snake pawns. Okay. 
and Red decided to trade horses. And once Red was able to trade horses, uh, Red, Red was prepared to play RA plus 7, RC8 plus 7 to attack Black's bottom rank. Now, Black tried to be aggressive with C1 equals to 4. And capturing the capturing Red's pawn. Uh, attempting to gain material with um, C3 plus 3. And this was the key move in the game, R2 plus 7. So at this point in time, Black played H7 minus 5. And this was another key move, uh, bringing the Red King to safety and using the Red King to attack, to assist in the attack. IA plus 3, forcing Black to uh, retreat his, ah, sorry, to advance his chariot to protect his cannons. And H5 plus 7 to sacrifice a horse to save the king, but it was already too late. And black and uh, red would play R8 plus 5, where <coughs> red will eventually win the game. So these were the moves from a 2006 uh, A-League, whereby Grandmaster Hong Zhi defeated Master Jiang Feng Shan. Okay, uh, I hope you've enjoyed this game, and I kind of like Grandmaster. Ah, uh, sorry, Master Hong Xiaolong's. Uh, books a lot and this is but a short but very nice and succinct uh, summary of this possible variation thank you